Word lets us take a document and break it into different sections. And each section can have their own collections of page settings, such as margins or the rotation and size of the page. In this video, we'll go in and look at how we can set that up. So here I have a long document with a few pages and a whole bunch of text on it. And I want to split it into sections. So to do section breaks, I have to go to the page layout tab here on the ribbon. And I have a drop down menu called breaks. And if I open up that menu, you can see there's all kinds of different breaks we can do. We can do our page breaks, where we have page break up here, we have column breaks. And then down here are our section breaks. And we'll focus on two here. We'll do a next page and a continuous section break. And we'll have another video for doing even and odd page breaks. So these are pretty straightforward. Let's say maybe after this paragraph here, I want there to be a section break and I want all of the content after this particular spot to be on a new page. So I'll put my cursor at the end of this paragraph or I could put it at the beginning of this paragraph. Either one's fine, but I'll put it at the end here and I'll go to breaks and I'll go next page. And you'll see sort of like a page break I took everything after that paragraph and it moved it down here to a new one. And I've got this blank space. So if you want to be able to physically see where your section breaks are, I can go to the Home tab and do my Show Hide to show all of my formatting symbols. And there I can see there's my section break, and I can see it's a next page section break. And that's great. So the real advantage to having section breaks and breaking things up into all these different sections is a couple reasons. We can actually have headers and footers that are unique to each section, and we'll have a video covering headers and footers for sections later on. We can also, for each section, we can have different settings. So maybe for this section down here, which is now split off, I can go to page layout, and maybe I could have different margins in this area. So if I change the margins here to narrow, there I can see in my original section, my first one, there at the normal margins, but down here, now I have a smaller margin in this section. So these are section specific changes. I can even go in and change the paper size or maybe the paper orientation. So maybe if you have one page that has a, a chart on it and maybe it's a horizontal chart, maybe you could section off that chart and then have it in a horizontal piece of paper like this one here. And you can see my original section is still how it was. I'm just gonna undo that there, so that's fine. And if you wanna erase a section break, this is why it's good to turn on your formatting marks because I can see my page break I put my cursor before it here and I'll just press delete and it just got rid of it there and there we go. So that's the next page section break but we can also do a continuous section break and I'm going to go to breaks here and I'll put my cursor in the same spot I was before and I'll go breaks and I'll go continuous. So a continuous section break it does break it off into sections now I got one section up here and then another section down here but we've got both the sections still kind of sharing this one page. So this will work a little differently. Obviously, I can't have half my page with one margins and the other half with different margins. This is all still going to take on the settings of whatever my first section break is because it kind of takes precedent being at the top of the page here. But now my next page, this stuff is all in my second section. I can actually come in here and if I want to go and do things like maybe change my margins again, I can go in and again have separate margins in here if I want to and have separate headers and footers and all of those sorts of things that I can do with sections. And if I want to delete my continuous section break, okay, I can come in here, put my cursor there, use a delete key, and there we go. Everything's back to normal. So there it is. It's nice and easy to break up our document into sections. If you want to be able to physically see the section breaks, use the show hide option on the home tab.